హార్టీ వెల్కమ్ టు ఆల్ నాలెడ్జ్ సిగర్స్ టు మై ఛానల్ దిస్ ఈస్ డాక్టర్ మధుసూదన్ రావు కడప ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ద డెరివేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫార్ములా టు ఫైండ్ ది ఎకనామిక్ ప్రొడక్షన్ క్వాంటిటీ ఆర్ వీ మే కాల్ ఎకనామిక్ బ్యాచ్ క్వాంటిటీ వెన్ ద రిక్వైర్డ్ ఇన్వెంటరీ ఐటమ్ ఈజ్ ప్రొడ్యూస్డ్ ఇన్ ది ప్లాంట్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ సపోజ్ వీ హ్యావ్ demand for a particular commodity and uh, if we go for a purchase model once the inventory level reaches the reorder point an order will be placed and this is the lead time during which there will be some consumption of the item and uh, at this point suppose the inventory item is received from the supplier the quantity will raise from this minimum level to the maximum level of inventory instantaneously on the other hand suppose if we produce instead of purchasing the item from suppliers if we produce within the organization using the available facilities in such case the production may not be instantaneous and within a day or two we cannot accumulate the required quantity and we cannot stop the production run and uh, suppose there is some production rate p p is the production rate and suppose d is the daily demand d is the daily demand then naturally what happens if you produce without any consumption at a rate of production p then the inventory level will raise from 0 to this particular quantity and this is the time during which the production run takes place but in reality there will be simultaneous production and consumption of the item in such case what happens the inventory will raise following this pattern because p is the production rate and d is the daily demand rate then p minus d is the quantity which is available to stock for the future period and since we are going for a production model where we are using the existing facilities of the organization to produce the commodity this may not be continuous we have to find out what should be the optimal quantity q economic batch size or economic lot size just like in purchase model we have eoq economic order quantity here we use the term economic batch quantity or economic lot size or production quantity q say following all other things which we have used in purchase model here the only difference is that there is production and consumption this is not a purchase model where uh, the replenishment takes place instantaneously and uh, the inventory level will raise from minimum to maximum on the same day but here it takes some time for the inventory to accumulate because there is both production and consumption simultaneously now as a result the inventory depletion will be like this so if we start the first cycle the production will start parallelly there is some consumption and at the rate of p minus d the inventory will start accumulating now if you consider a time t within which the inventory level will reach the q which we have to find out suppose this is the quantity q for example now at this rate of production p it may take some time t now suppose p is the rate of production per day and t is the time both uh, these two will be in the same units that is production per day if it is per day time will be in days if it is per week it will time will be in weeks and so on so q the quantity q should be equal to p into t 
now p may become q by p if there is only production without any consumption right now coming to this scenario this, this is what actually happens in the organization in such case the rate of consumption is p minus d and uh, in the same time t this quantity which will accumulate is equal to p minus d into t now here we have the rate p minus d which is uh, production minus consumption then the quantity accumulated over the same period of time t is p minus d into t while calculating the holding cost we have to consider this quantity not q now let us uh, go for the derivation part of the economic batch quantity as usual we have d equal to annual demand of the product or the commodity then c not equal to setup cost production setup cost is the cost associated with setting up the production facilities here in order to produce the inventory item within the plant we have to set all the machines we have to provide the equipment and uh, we have to prepare the schedule for this production plan and this is the duration for which the production run will take place once the quantity reaches some level that means our target is to produce q once that quantity is reached means there is there will be simultaneous consumption also once the quantity is reached we will stop the production run thereafter there will be only consumption as a result at a particular demand rate it will deplete and uh, as the production if it is instantaneous we can uh, set up the facilities immediately and start production if it is the case then we can uh, deplete this inventory to zero or else we have to start at some point that means once the inventory reaches reaches some certain minimum we have to start the setting up of all these things and it may say, take some lead time and again the next production run will start so again p minus d will be the quantity accumulated and so on so in this model uh, as we have assumed in uh, the economic order quantity in purchase model here also suppose if shortages are not allowed then this is how the inventory depletion will take place now c not is the setup cost for each setup and the ch is the holding cost per unit per year and uh, here we have q is economic batch size or batch quantity economic batch quantity like this now we have to derive the formula so if you look at the terms here as we have taken in the previous model here also we have annual demand setup cost holding cost and economic batch quantity and here p is the production rate and d is the demand rate daily demand like that daily or weekly demand like that now we have two costs associated in this one is uh, the setup cost total setup cost and uh, the other one is the total holding cost now in eoq model we have seen that suppose this is the quantity q and this is cost in this uh, graph if quantity is small the cost of ordering will be more so ordering cost will go like this if quantity is more ordering cost will be less and here we have carrying cost which is directly proportional to the quantity carried and uh, we will have a total cost graph like this and this will uh, assume a minimum where these two costs are equal in the same way 
here also we can write like this the total or set of cost is d by q d by q will be the number of times we have to set up the production facility because d is the annual demand and q is the economic batch quantity then d by q will give you the number of times we have to set up the production facility multiplied by c naught and this is equal to here inventory carrying cost the average inventory minimum inventory is zero and maximum inventory is say p minus d into d this is the quantity which we are going to hold in stock so the average inventory is half into p minus d into t into ch is the holding cost now this is equal to half into p minus d into t can be replaced by q by q by p into ch or we can write this as half q ch into p minus d by p then we can rearrange the terms like this q square equal to 2d c naught by ch into p minus d by p in the denominator or we get q equal to square root of 2d c naught by ch into p by p minus d so this is the expression for economic batch quantity in case of production model where we have additional term in the earlier model in purchase model we get q equal to root of 2d c naught by ch only but here we get this additional term in the square root that is p by p minus d so this is how we can uh, derive the expression for economic batch quantity in purchase scenario as per this model thank you very much in some other video i will explain the solution of problems using this model thank you